What is up, Best Ones Worldwide? It's the Best One Donnie here, back with a brand new WWE Mattel Creations exclusive unboxing and review video. If you're not a Best One yet already, and you're into wrestling figures, Funko Pops, Nickelodeon, late 90s, 2000s, or basketball, and you want to watch me rebuild my collection, or live my nostalgic memories, recommend you to hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications, because of course you already know, the grind is real. So today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing WWE Mattel Creation exclusive Legends of the Territory Era 4 pack, which consists of Muhammad Ali, Gorilla Monsoon, Harley Race, and Billy Graham. I'm very excited to unbox this and review this for you guys. I know we get a bunch of old school championships with this, including the NWA 10 pounds of gold, which I'm so excited to get for my collection. So with that being said, let's get it. The grind is... So here it is guys, we got our four pack here. These are not ultimates, these are elite, which does say it right on the front of the box here. But we do gotta appreciate this art here because the Mattel Creation boxes are amazing. And with the packaging here, I love that we get the old school WWE logo, Live Pro Wrestling, Legends of the Territory era, featuring larger than life superstars from the 1970s, which is awesome. I love the artwork we get with Muhammad Ali and Gorilla Monsoon looking at each other face to face. And then we have Harley Race giving Billy Graham in a submission hold, which is awesome. And then on the sides here, we get Superstar Billy Graham versus Harley Race. And we do get Muhammad Ali versus Gorilla Monsoon. And I just love the artwork here. Like, so much effort was put into this, which is awesome. And we're going to take this right out of the packaging here. And, oh man, very excited about this, and whoo hoo, we even get even better packaging here, which is, this is cool, which I love this because back in the old school days, this is how, like, the posters used to be to advertise the fights, the matches that would happen, and they would do it just like this, so I actually really like that they're paying homage to, like, the old school stuff here, wicked cool. I love the box details here. Oh, man. Champion versus champion. Billy Graham, and you get, like, the height. You get the weight, where they're from. You get the date and the time. This is just, this is like a time castle, which is so cool. And that's the thing, like, I didn't grow up in the 1970s. I was born in, like, the late 90s, which I always do say in my intro. But I do love old school wrestling, and it's something I do love and I do appreciate. So this packaging here is awesome. And I just love, like, the way that they, like, did it, like, in, like, a poster, like, font. That is just awesome. So now we're going to take this out of the package here. And let's see. Let's see how this works. Oh, okay, look at that. So you open this up right here. Oh, wait a minute. Did I um, do it wrong? Yes, I did. Now I do see like the bottom doesn't have anything. So it's like a book sh bookcase, which you take out, which, ooh, man, look at that. So freaking cool. We're going to put this to the side. I really like this packaging a lot. But look at that. Really freaking cool how they did this. Which I think these are just meant to just let breathe, let open, which, oh, man, look at that. So cool. Which we'll start off with, we'll start off with Muhammad Ali versus Gorilla Monsoon. Let's take these two out of the package here. So 
starting things off, we have Muhammad Ali versus Gorilla Monsoon. And I will say this, I don't really care for these Muhammad Ali's. Like I thought when we got our San Diego Comic Con exclusive last summer, I thought that that was the only Muhammad Ali we were going to get. But now they're throwing him in Legend Lines, they're throwing him in this year, which I will say, it is cool that he's not in his boxing gear. He's in like a suit, a tire. But don't really care too much for this Muhammad Ali figure. But with this figure here, we do get the old school head sculpt. He's got the little afro going on in the front. And then he's got the mean mug. You can see the wrinkles on the forehead there. And I don't like the cloth good suit. I see like they're trying to do something different here. But they should have just stuck with the normal suit molds that they normally do. I think that that would have been awesome. And I could have made a custom Teddy Long out of that if they did that. I don't like this suit at all. But it's like a nice, like, plain, like, white, nice white and, like, plain colors going on there. And it is Velcro, which makes it even worse for this figure. He does have a watch mold, which I will say is pretty freaking cool. I do like that. And I do like the nice, like, light tone business pants going on as well going with the suit i think that, that looks great and then he does have the brown dress shoes on as well just nothing special with this muhammad ali i think it would have been way better in like a normal suit mold like i don't know why they were thinking that soft goods would work for this but there it is there we got muhammad ali and now let's get into gorilla monsoon which i do hope eventually in the Vault Series or Greatest Hits, we can get like a announcer Gorilla Monsoon when he wasn't active in the ring. But it is cool that we're getting like a 70s Gorilla. And let's see here. We're going to switch out the hands on this one. I think having like the hands wide open for Gorilla will be way better. So we're going to do that right there. Take out the mic holding hands. Glad we're not getting, uh, glad we didn't get close fists with Gorilla. That's a good thing. But with this figure here, I do think the head sculpt is perfect on this Gorilla Monsoon. I remember getting this as a kid, Jack's classic superstar days. So it is cool to get in like Mattel form. I do love the wrestling gear that we do have here. We got a little bit of the chest hair going on. I think that they picked the perfect torso. I do think they should have given us like less jacked arms though but I really do like that we get the plain black singlet going on with like the long like red we got the red stripe going on and he's got the black and white knee pads going on as well and he does have the red boots there not a lot because around the 70s they didn't really wear a lot of different colors and stuff it was very plain Jane but I do like this Gorilla Monsoon. Very cool figure to add to the collection. Hopefully we can get a brand new announcer Gorilla Monsoon for the collection. So now let's turn this over because we have a champion versus champion. Superstar Billy Graham versus Harley Race. This is the set that really convinced me to buy this four pack. And here it is here. Oh yeah, this is great. This is amazing. We get the old WWE Championship, and we even get the 10 pounds of gold, which I don't know how WWE was able to get away with that, but hey, I am not complaining. Having this championship was definitely probably the biggest selling point here. So let's take this out of the packaging. Oops. Here it is, guys. We got Harley Race and Superstar Billy Graham with these championships, which are just beautiful. And we will start off here with Superstar Billy Graham because I feel like it's been a minute since Mattel has made a new one of these. So I am excited to finally add this to the collection. Glad I didn't pay second market prices for the older one, which I am glad that we got an updated one here. And with the Superstar Billy Graham, 
I do love the head sculpt here. He's got the sideburns going on. He's got the slicked back blonde hair going on, mean mugging. And I do love that the shirt is not Velcro. So I do like that he's got like the nice pink and purple splattered all over the place looking great. And I think the arm choice that they went with was perfect. They gave him the very muscular arms there because Billy Graham was definitely not a small guy. And I do love this classic WWF championship that he does come with here. It's got the red strap. And I do love like the green diamonds that are in the title as well. Very detailed, very nice. And then and then with the pants here, we do get some like dark blue and some white going all around here. Tie-dye, which he always pulled off really well. And then we get the high red boots here with the blue laces. Great figure. Very excited to add him to the collection and this championship. And finally, probably my favorite figure in this four-pack, we got... Harley Race, and this is the territory days. This is where Harley Race was at his A game, holding that 10 pounds of gold, which I got to take the title off of him and just look at the championship, because honestly, that was the biggest selling point for me here, and oh man, I can't believe they got away with this. This is incredible, but I do think I'm going to have to like find some like decals or something, because I know people are selling them to put on this championship because I know they can't put NWA on it but it is really cool that they actually gave us this which I hope this isn't like the last time they do this I don't know who I'm going to put the championship on though I don't think I'm going to keep it on Harley Race but for now we'll keep the belt on him maybe like Ric Flair maybe I'll put it on like an old school Ric Flair figure this championship because he did hold it a lot during the time but with this Harley race here, I love the head sculpt. He's got the curly, grayish-brown hair going on, which I like a lot. And he's got, like, the handlebar mustache with the sideburns growing, which does look great. Love the serious face. And the robe is just beautiful. He's got the red, the blue, and the white, which looks incredible. With his last name, Race, on the back of it. He also does have some tattoo details on the arm there, which does look good. And the 10 pounds of gold, which is just such a beautiful, prestigious championship he's got around his waist there. And then with the tights, he is wearing the plain blue tights with the blue knee pads and the black and white boots. Which, man, this is probably my favorite figure in this lineup. It's cool that we got like a old school Harley race and we also have the King as well during his run with the WWF but there it is here but there it is there we got the live pro wrestling territories four pack I do love that Mattel creations is bringing back the old school I will say I think that the championships here on Billy Graham and Harley race definitely sell this I think that these are some great figures. I'm very excited to add them to the old school shelf because I do have a love and appreciation for old school wrestling. And even on my We Are Wrestling YouTube channel, I do have a podcast called Old School vs. New School. And I talk about a lot of this stuff. But let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this. What do you hope Mattel does next? If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like button now if you're not a best one yet already. Subscribe, turn on the post notifications, new videos coming out every other day. The link's down in the description box below. You can go follow me over on my social medias and other YouTube channels, all that down below. And if you want to support this channel just a little bit more, you can go follow the new Instagram page at Best One Toys where I show you guys things that I have in my collection posting pictures on there every single day so it would really help if you guys go follow at best one toys on instagram all the links down below but of course to all the best ones out there worldwide we are taking over peace